Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Sidental Vlogs and if you don't know me, I am Dr. Abhishek Pathi and I make videos on dentistry. I am also working as an associate professor in department of oral medicine in Bhubaneswar Sam Hospital. So today we are going to talk about sealers. Yes, this topic I have never talked about and uh, it's a very important component of the root canal treatment. Right? So success of the root canal treatment depends upon many factors. First of all, your case selection is the most important thing. Whether you have selected a case in which there is furcation involvement at the CJ level and then you are trying to do the root canal and if you are not giving it proper settings and if you are not applying any kind of MTA, that root canal is going to fail for sure. But if you are doing a root canal and you make sure that you are doing a good BMP up till the apex of the tooth, till the radiographic apex and if you ensure all the procedures correct then your chances of the survival of the root canal will be there for many long years and you can say to the patient confidently ki aapka jo zirconia crown hai 10 saal 15 saal chal jayega so does first of all the first question is uh, if you do a root canal and the patient asks you kitna saal chalega or how much time the root canal will run so what do we say we don't have any answers but if you do it properly in the best way possible, it will go for the entire life. So first thing what I follow is before doing the root canal, take a radiograph, right? Do a proper BMP, good obturation. These are three important things and each and every component materials should be very good. Okay. So I'm not going into the root canal, depth of the root canal. I've already made many videos. So this video is about sealers. So first of all, when we were doing our BDS, we were using zinc oxide eugenol. It's a very good sealant and very poor patients or young patients uh, who are not able to afford in hospital or in some charitable clinic, in my clinic as well. So there sometimes in order to do the cost cutting, we use zinc oxide eugenol. It's a very good sealer. But today we are going to talk about sealer, which is known as seal apex and which is my personal favorite. Also, I am going to talk about endomethazon N. What is the reaction? So the basic principles of a sealer is first of all, after you have done your BMP by a so after doing the BMP when your canal is dry and you have properly placed the four percent twenty five um, paper points or six percent twenty paper points. That means how much canal you have prepared with your rotary files. You have to dry the canal and ensure that there is no debris and properly BMP is done. So we have to, the seal apex is there, you have to take out equal amount of catalyst and base. Okay, it's, it is of two parts and then you have to make sure where all your spatula with which you are mixing the base and catalyst, it is very clean and sterilized and basically it's a calcium hydroxide uh, base sealer containing components such as calcium oxide, tricalcium phosphate plasticizer is there and some amount of resin so how you have to do is you have to mix the base and catalyst for 10 to 15 seconds and then you have to carry it with the gutta perka and put it inside the canal which is properly instrumented and dried and then you have to slightly give a pumping action near the apex of the tooth like to and fro motion and then you have to take out the gutta perka smoothly you can also use a lentil spiral in order so that you can see that see when you are mixing the sealant it should not be too thick 0.5 mm of thickness should be there around the canal plus there should be, should not be any air bubbles or voids inside the wherever you place the sealer and you should be careful that you should not use too much of sealer otherwise the sealer will extrude out of the periapical region recently what happened in one of my root canal cases in a simple premolar tooth I will tell you so what happened is I did a very good root canal in a premolar I gave normal calcium hydroxide dressing then what I did is I uh, did the obturation with the good root canal on the same day itself I did the obturation used a sealer and then I had to paste uh, do a post and core on that particular tooth so what happened is while I was uh, 
while performing the root canal there was actually there was a lack of tug back in the gutta parka so while i was putting the post uh, what happened is uh, when i was putting the drill inside to remove the gb what happened is um, some amount of sealer got pushed into the periapical region okay i did everything i put the post i did the crown cutting on the same day and i got the impression of the patient after 3 days again the crown came and then i fixed it but the patient was in severe pain i gave antibiotics and analgesics but to my astonishment 10 days ho gaya there was no reduction in pain of the patient so i decided to take out the root canal take out the post it's a big lung uh, cumbersome process and then i thoroughly flushed the canal did a re rct again on the particular tooth means for the same tooth i had to work so much just because the sealer had got extruded and the it was causing severe irritation to the patient so make sure that you don't overuse the sealer sealer use karo little bit okay so gently place the sealer and what does the sealer do there are many lateral canals and the sealer is very nicely it flows into the lateral canals okay but in order to flow into the lateral canals you have to clean the canals with edta then only there will be all the dental debris will come out and all the the sealant will occupy all the places and less chances of infection in the long term so why it is important agar hum aise gp ghusa denge to kya root canal chalega nahi chalega because root canal ka margin of error bahut zyada hota hai apne agar 2 mm ya 4 mm ya 5 mm short bhi chhod diya chhod diya kabhi kabhi kuch kuch patients lucky hote hain ki 5 6 saal tak koi problem nahi hota hai to kaam acha karoge if you do good work you can charge good money from the patient confidently confidence will be near in your eyes suppose you did a very good root canal and suppose patient is asking some reduction in the amount of the root canal confidently you can say that i have done the best root canal and you have to charge me this amount amount for this agar aapne kharab root i am telling the truth or not agar if you have little bit done any mistake patient tells from discount you easily give away ha huh? take the discount no problem okay 500 minus 1000 minus right am i right or wrong so that is the thing so if you do a perfect root canal your confident levels will increase you you will tell the patient to put a best cap for that particular tooth right if you are doing good practice so this is all about sealers and i use two three sealers best is i think sealapex i ordered it from dental guard and uh, because initially the price was less i think 1500 but now it has increased i think 3500 to 3600 i also use endomethazon n it's all it's also a very good sealer sometimes i use zinc oxide original and apex it and resino seal there are so many sealers in the market uh, even if you're a beginner you can use seal apex um it's good consistency is quite good and you can approximately use it for around 60 to 70 cases approximately and uh, whenever i wish i have two three sealers i just change and do it again and again so if you like this video please do share and subscribe to this channel and i am too much overwhelmed Uh, by all your love and support you can follow me in insta as well sai_dental and lately i am not be able to make regular videos because my health was not good and i was out of station since 2 3 months so now regular videos i'll try to put every month i'll try to put 5 to 7 videos good videos okay bye bye i love you all take care